rather like wear shades or be like in a, in a dark room and just be you know really like like you know like as if we're like uh, hiding in a closet Jesus that's what Christ. I that's, oh. that's what I want oh. Something is uh, ah. tickling the bum bum of Jason. What we should here. do? Go like this. I don't know. Wait, the other way. <laughs> no, it's yeah. stupid. Go back. Go back the other way. No, you're the you're on the other side. Well, you have to be. <laughs> the... Get it. Two guys, two worlds. This is the flip side. New episodes uploaded on YouTube, Facebook, and Spotify every week on Wednesday and Saturday. Now, here's your host, Jason and Noel. That's what I said, you nincompoop. Okay. Uh, it looks weird. I'm not used to you with uh, that desk. Um, that hey, that? desk. No, that's Hello, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> that's a bit this too my, much, Red. That's a bit too this much. My new, this is my new look. Hey, guys. It's uh, the day after... Valentine's Day. Well, Happy Valentine's. Yeah. M- mga kapuso. Yeah, <laughs> no, was, you know what was, we should do? Was... Go like this. I don't know. Wait, the other way. <laughs> no, it's yeah. stupid. Go back. Go back the other way. No, you're the you're on the other side. Well, you have to be. <laughs> the... Forget it. <laughs> that was really bad. Am I wow. on your left or you're, am I on your right? On the you're video? on my left. So you got to use your right. So you same, gotta be like same. That. You're oh. also on my left. So well, let's just go like let's just go like that. No, that that looks really <laughs> bad. It looks like we're holding two balls, man. <laughs> yeah, you you would know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. So okay. um, Valentine's Day right now, February fourteenth, twenty twenty three, over here where I am in the U.S. and it is the fifteenth day after no. in Manila. Is it day day after or day ahead? Mm. It's the same, you moron. I'm in the future. Shh, quiet. Mm. Don't tell me anything. I don't want to know what about tomorrow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, I'm back from the future. I am in the future. Okay. That that's like mm. ten seconds of my life. I'm never gonna get back. Oh, oh. Mm. Something is uh, ah. like tick- tickling the bum bum of Jason here. No, Come not on, really. Let it, let it out. No, um, let it out. Today is not just Valentine's Day for me. Ooh. Today is actually my seventh year wedding anniversary. Oh, hey. Yes. 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 Is that what we're talking about? I thought yes. we were talking about boys. Jeez. Well, I'm already out of the closet, but they pushed me back in because I'm not worthy. <laughs> so, I, I... so I married my wife, you know. <laughs> no, um, yeah, today is also my seventh year wedding anniversary. Seven years ago, February 14th, 2016, um, my wife and I got married. You couldn't uh, think of a. You guys couldn't think of a more original date, huh? Well, let me put it this way: it was almost, almost a shotgun wedding, if if you would say. Um, we literally decided on it maybe a month and a half, two months prior. We said, oh. "Hey, let's." We were already engaged, but like, hey. Valentine's is a couple of months. Want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your happy. Your, that's your uh, happy Valentine's Day gift. No, I'm just kidding. So um, is this the relationship episode? I wasn't ready for this, man. I, I thought, okay, go well, ahead. Just I don't know. Into it. I mean, it, it's not really a relationship episode. You know, I, I just figured, why not? You know, it's a good thing to talk about. Uh, so it was one of those days uh, we were like deciding, hey, you know what? We, we've always been. Um, we, we, we've been engaged for about a year already. Um, and to be quite honest, money was tight, you know? Hold we, on a second. I'm curious about when you get engaged and she says yes, 
Right. Do you guys? I guess you guys haven't thought about plans yet. It's just the in it, It's when when I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not really familiar with how these things go, and I've never really done it. So when you wink, propose, wink. first you first you decide for yourself as the guy, right? Well, yeah, you have to. And then when she says yes, does the next conversation go with when is it going to be? And you you start to make plans? Not yet. Not necessarily. Not not necessarily. It all depends really on what what's doable at the time. Right. You know. So I what mean, we we got engaged, and then um, we didn't have any specific plans yet. Mm -hmm. um, reason being was money was tight. You know, we were really watching every penny. Um, mm -hmm that we could and i don't know how it came to fruition um so we decided hey why don't we have a small wedding a more intimate wedding you know i know she wanted i take that back yeah yeah she she, she wanted a, a bigger wedding you know obviously uh, what girl doesn't right what girl does not want a bigger wedding but unfortunately, due to financial situation, we couldn't afford it. So we had a small, intimate wedding where we found a chapel not too far from us. It's a very small chapel where we got married in front of um, maybe 20 of uh, family and friends. Mm -hmm. And then we just went to a nice restaurant to have like a little dinner after. You know? Mm -hmm. The whole backstory was that it's a little bit, a little bit sad in a way, um, but I can't really divulge too much of that information. Mm. When we got married, it was actually a double wedding. Mm. Yeah. So her cousin and um, mm. her cousin's wife uh, mm -hmm. piggyback with us, basically. You know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So. We all, it was like two couples, double wedding, got married at the same time. Um, I'm still hoping that one day I'll be able to, maybe on our 10th year, mm. if not 15th, that like make up, make up for it or yeah, have a bigger wedding, a be a more grand, um, when we renew our vows and whatnot. Cause I want to, I want to do that for her, you know, cause alam ko, she wants that as well. And it sucks that I wasn't able to provide it for her, but you know, it it still bothers me every day, a lot of times, especially around this time of year. To be honest with you, what it about makes, it? It makes me sad you? that i you know I didn't get to give her the wedding that she wanted, you know, or that she deserves. That she she definitely deserves, definitely, you know, but uh. It's uh, and ever since then, so we've been married seven years now, right? Our first year anniversary, it was nice. We went to New York for our anniversary for our first year. Um, it was a good celebration. We actually went to a like, karaoke bar in in New York City, so that was fun. Mm. But every after year after that has been a little bit low key, just like tonight. Um, mm. We could so you go really... from New York to Miami to. Florida to at home. I wish. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so we're just, you know, the last couple of years, we just go out to eat, you know, like lap, but it's sometimes we go to nice restaurants and what. But this year, nagluto lang ako ng pagkai, nag dinner, you know. Mm. I cooked some dinner, uh, bought our flowers and whatnot, but it was simple. But every year, Especially around this time, I still feel a little sad. Na hindi hindi ko na bigay yung wedding na gusto niya. You know, mm. makes me uh, pain a little bit. <laughs> what kind of wedding are we talking about here? Like a grand royal? No, it doesn't have to be. But to be able to walk down a nice aisle inside a nice church. That'd be nice, you know. Actually, ang gusto niya yata talaga yung ano, beach beach wedding. Mm. Kung maka, kung if if we can get married in Siargao, that would be better. I think that's what she really wants, you know, because that's where mm. she's from. She lives there. So, would you fly everybody there, including myself? 
Yeah. I think you do. I mean, I wouldn't fire everybody, but damn, I just man. invited myself. Oh, well, Let, you know. Allow me to ask the, the 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 stupid question here. Like, how does it feel to be married, especially for seven years? I mean, it would be. It's not a question for how how does it feel to be married after one or two years, but seven years is quite a significant amount of time already. But yeah, well, it also this is our tenth year together, so. The the stupid question is, don't you, not don't you regret anything, but how does it feel? How does I it guess feel to be married? No, no, no. It, I, yeah, I guess it's 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 the whole thing about it being legal on paper. It's not a joke well, anymore. You're not fooling around. Here's here's the difference. Okay, how it works here, when people date, it's like for some re- reason it's a requirement for both parties. To get to know each other as much as they could while they're dating before they get married, you know, like, oh, I didn't know that about you or whatever, you know, no, it's it shouldn't be like that. You're, you, you take your time getting to know each other. And when you realize that you are able to spend all this time with your better half and be able to deal with annoyance the the it the anger the attitude the the smiles the laughter everything mm. else about getting to know each other that's secondary you have you have the rest of your lives together to to get to know to know get to know each other you know sorry and, can you repeat that again once you no so when you're dating once you realize me. once you realize that you can deal with this person on an everyday basis for a long period of time. Their mm. attitude, their annoyance, they're having a good time together. They're happy. They're sad. Whatever, you know. Mm. Um, that should be enough, at least for me, to say, mm. "Hey, I want to get to know this woman, even if it takes me." The rest of my life to know so you don't have to know everything about her to decide absolutely not no. need to know enough to know Correct. that you're not annoyed if if it not necessarily not annoyed but if your heart tells you that hey i love this woman even though i don't know her that's see that's the biggest misconception too because most people think that when you love somebody you you know that person no that's not true i don't believe that whatsoever you know Love is something that is different for everybody. For me, it's not necessarily knowing that person, but I love her enough. Yeah. So yeah, so mature, man. (laughs) I got lucky. I I married my wife, and she became my best friend. I kid you. What about what about options, brother? What about options? Options. I've had that. Uh, That's called your twenties and your (laughs) thirties. <laughs> that's 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 basically what that is, you know. And if you don't feel like you've ran out of options, nah, no, no, no. I mean, no, absolutely not. Do I feel wanna, like I ran out of options? Like, um, there might keep be the win- anybody is better. Uh, keep the windows open, the door, you no. know, just in case. No, there. Here's biggest mis- thing, misconceptions that people think is. There's no options out there. No, bullshit. There's always options out there. The difference is I already made my choice. And my choice is I married her. You see what I'm saying? That's That's got to be enough. Otherwise, why marry her? Why choose her? You know what I mean? And I've told my wife this, no matter what. If this, for some odd reason, doesn't work out, uh, I'm never getting married again. Like, you know what I mean? I'm only going to get married once in my life because I believe in that sanctity of that marriage. Um, that's just the way I am. It's not for everybody, you know? So How we, long did you say you've known her? 10, ten years? years. Yeah, we've known each other. Ten, we've been together 10 years now. Well, mm. how, we knew how long each did you other know her before that? Before, that's it, 10 years. I've only known her 10 years. <laughs> we started dating when I was... 36 and she was 26 mm. you know um 
like next thing you know, three three months later, we're living together. Mm. And then we got married. That was what 2013. Three mm. years later, we got married. Yeah. But that's I got lucky that I I married somebody that tolerates me, and I, I do have one regret. What's that? She is starting to turn out to be like me. It's annoying. <laughs> I'm very outspoken. I say how I feel, what I think. I'm a very logical thinker, and I apply it to my day-to-day -day living, right? And she's starting to think like me, and she's starting to speak and act like me. It's scary, dude. It's so scary. <laughs> before, before when we argue, I can like BS my way around and like outthink her using different words and all that stuff, right? Mm. No, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> she's she's too too clever. She picked up on it and like I don't know. It's scary. I'm curious. I'm curious to ask her like, what is it that you need to put up with, Jason? What is what? it that you need to? <laughs> what is, What is it that you? You know, like, what do you need to tolerate? Oh, to she she has to tolerate a going? lot. She'll tell you, I'm sure. I mean, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to find out. I, I'm too <laughs> headstrong. Not right now. I don't. I don't want to. I'm scared. What do you appreciate about her the most? Being her. Which is like what? She's tolerating your shit, which goes back no, to you. No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's her being. Her? She's very caring towards others, especially about people that matter to her life, her family, her kids, obviously. To a point where she's gotten to be a little bit of a pushover, you know. Mm -hmm. But she it, she's a lot stronger now than what she was ten years ago. I'll tell you is, that much. Is there something about her that <clears throat> you admire, then, and you would also like to have, but can't seem to? Patience. <laughs> yeah, she's got. She's far more patient than I am. You know what I mean? And I wish I was a little bit more patient. Patient in a sense of like. Um, See, the problem with me is I can't stand stupidity. <laughs> I, I can't. Um, when it's too simple, it annoys the crap out of me. You know, it just doesn't make sense. It's common sense. I can't stand it when people don't use common sense. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? I can't help but think of... Uh... You know, um, signal lights like on the freeway or even just yeah. on a regular road. Like, mm -hmm. dude, it would really make a lot of sense if you signaled. Exactly. Because, and and ten seconds, maybe five seconds before you make the turn, not on the on turn the itself. turn. Yes, it's annoying. I know. I know. It's 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 frustrating, but that's that's a good way of um, of putting it. You know, but let's let me twist the question around a little bit how is, is there something about her that you admire that you said patience but that that you wish that you could emulate also uh, aside from just the patient is, is there like um because you said that she's becoming like you is there something that you have become like her also i i, so, I wish i cared as much as she does Oh no no, but no no no, but you already have turned into something like her. Do you oh, think no, there's something? No, that de definitely something about her that I wish I could be more like is to be oh. a little bit more caring. It's not like I don't. Right. I'm not. I'm not talking about my kids or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. Or my family and immediate family, meaning my wife and kids, but everybody else, like um, the in-law families or my own mm. families and whatnot. I I wish I I wish I cared more. To be honest with you, but sometimes it's just. Is there something about her that's creeped up on you without you thinking about it? Because now you're saying something conscious that you want to be like, yeah, you, you want to emulate from her. Uh -huh. But is there is there something that that you've picked up on without you meaning to pick up on it? I don't know. I really, I, I really don't know. 
I don't think so. I mean, we we used to go out a lot as a couple and whatnot, but we've mellowed down a lot in seven years. You know, once upon a time, we would be asleep at like eight o'clock or eight thirty. That's <laughs> it's pretty sad, you know. So, but now. Now that uh, we have a two-year-old, we can't wait for that two-year-old to be 15, 16, so me and her can start going out again and whatnot, you know? <laughs> You're already uh, thinking about that. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. That's not even funny. I'm telling you, when we went to Christmas vacation, I don't know if I told you this, so we spent Christmas in Florida. We were like, let's leave the kids in the room, in the hotel room, and let's go to the hotel bar. <laughs> so we did. We, uh, we were... Granted, we were only there for two hours because we had to go back to the room to the kids. But it was fun. You know, we had a blast at the bar. We were drinking. Uh, we met a random couple, chit chatted with them and whatnot. And it was good. It was fun. That, you know? Yeah, that's what you what that's what I hear. They say in the movies, you know, you got to schedule these fun times now. Yeah. I mean, it's it's easy if you have somebody to help you with the kids. But main, mainly it's just us, you know. We're not gonna hire. We we can't hire a nanny. I mean, we could, but I'm not gonna pay somebody twenty two dollars an hour just to watch my kids. Is it twenty two now? Jeez. Uh, maybe twenty two might be in the high side. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, um, there, what about you? One one last question about that. Is there anything that you completely like disagree? With, with my each wife? other about yeah not really i mean i'm fortunate enough that we are able to communicate with each other properly although now that it's been this long the patience towards each other sometimes is lacking already you know what i mean but we we we, we tend to catch ourselves i think you know and uh, individually realize that hey you're pushing it too much. I know she realizes that, but I'm slowly getting there because my patient, my 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 temper gets the better of me sometimes. Yeah. I'm, How about when I say temper? I'm not throwing plates or anything. You know. <laughs> How about silly little things like you know she uses ketchup on your fries and you like salt? Nah. Well, she's always telling me I put too much salt, but um. Besides that, now nah. I mean, we eat. Oh God, that's just so gross. <laughs> we eat off each other's plates. Uh, try. We like it. We like the same food. Uh, we do like to do the same things. If there's one thing I wish that she would do mo more, is have more hobbies. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't have a lot of hobbies, you know. Um, homebody watches TV or what's her yeah, thing? Yeah, she, she's always on her phone. It's annoying. Social media, Facebook, like in, Instagram, TikTok, what all of it? She's always on her phone, which is she ends is she up me or just consuming, consuming, just like you with your Netflix and all that crap. But because of her being on the phone a lot, I tend to be on the phone a lot as well. I mean. It sounds like I'm blaming her for me to be on it, but I'm not. But it's just that, what am I going to do? Just sit there and stare in the wall? You know what I mean? Hey, I'm not just mindlessly consuming. I'm researching. <laughs> researching. <laughs> yes, it's it's called show prep. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm studying these things so that right. I know what right. I'd be doing when I get on the camera and the microphone. Exactly. You know. What about you? How was your Valentine's? What did you do? I think we're running out of time. That's <laughs> where we cut this off. Aren't we going to talk about your... I, well, I just said we didn't do anything here. I cooked. I bought her flowers. I didn't, I didn't get her chocolates because she's always saying, like, eh, you're making me fat. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> Aye. Did you guys fight? Uh no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing worth the... Uh... She cooked and you ate. No? Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Oh, that's sweet. little cuddle time. A little sucky sucky. 
No, you really want to know what literally just did yesterday, just what I did the day before. I worked out, did a little edit, uh, uploaded it to Facebook, uploaded it to YouTube, didn't put it public. It's just there. That's it. What do you mean you didn't put it public? I saw it. I saw all of it. To, to specific select friends only. Ah, uh, like, okay. So. I gotta ask, why don't you put it public? Because I catch myself not saying stuff or not doing things on the vlog or on the video because I'm thinking of what the public, strangers, people might think. Yeah, but you which end is up also you end up reason, saying in the vlog like, "Oh, who's gonna watch it?" Yeah, thing, which is anyway. also the reason why I to to annoy you. I said that to annoy you specifically, but I wasn't even sharing it with you because I didn't want anyone I didn't want to know what other people thought but I also realized after making like four or five six that it's like why am I even making this if nobody's going to watch it it's really just for me to study or for I, me I, to get used for me to get used to it I, I, I don't understand I, what do you need to get used to I mean we're we're doing we're doing this show twice a week this week it's three times since we're doing it tomorrow again ah, this doesn't count <laughs> doesn't really this doesn't count how is that because it, the camera angle is just one facing me this there's no music there's no other things that i'm saying there's no other ag other it, it, visually it's not the same it's even <laughs> worse because it's concentrated on you as opposed to oh my god man you're you, you you're, you're like my daughter never guys, thought about you, it that way you guys are always bitching crapping about whatever but no, it's self-inflicted because here it's like oh i reacted that way or i thought about it that way or i said that because of what right. the other person said because jason said this and i reacted and blah 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 oh but don't use you... me as an excuse come on because we're going back and forth if i did it on a vlog that i i put the you know i consciously put the camera on a tripod or held it in my hand th okay that's not, rea that's not reacting to something or someone else that's me consciously starting and stopping right there, which is totally different from, well, he asked me, so I answered, or, or <laughs> he said, or, you know, it, 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 it's a conversation. Conversation is different from a monologue or right. starting, a, starting a speech. So, Did you hear that, and, my daughter? No. Okay, good. So that's just how screwed up it is in my head. But yeah, I, I still don't get it. I mean, it, it's it seems like it's just a bunch of excuses about. So you... what are you saying? I should just put it publicly? Yes. Plus I don't I don't want people to see like the mess in my room, the mess in my office. The, and... Let's be honest. Your place looks cleaner, 10 times cleaner than a lot of different houses out there. My mom, my mom will say like, "Hey, fix your room. Fix your your forty four. Your <sighs> your room still looks like a mess. When are you gonna clean your room?" This is this is all I'm hearing. This is all I'm hearing. Yeah, this this is yeah. you right now. Literally, this is you. You you ask. What what you need to do is take this wall down so that you can have this. You know. <laughs> I I answered. You asked. I'm just trying to give you an answer. The reason you're thinking the way you're thinking is because you're cl you're closing yourself out from the possibilities of what people might think or say. Boom. Of course. I exactly. just psyched your ass. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I just figured. <laughs> Maybe I need a drink. It's too early. What time is it there? It's 9.40, not even 10 a.m. Yeah, 9.45, 9.42 exactly. So... Yeah, um, I don't know. Do we cut this here or do we continue? Because I'm I'm really dying to ask you about. I'll just edit this out if you think it's uh, inappropriate. But I'm dying to ask you about your conversation with you know, who the guy the guy that oh, guy that guy. So, <laughs> and <laughs> and if you're cool with it, I wanted to maybe on the next recording. I was I was curious about like sort of prepping ourselves up, warming ourselves up, up 
about him. Like we could just talk about him. Yeah, I mean, we can do that on the next recording. Let Let's not do do that now. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll talk okay, about fine. it tomorrow. Hold, just pipe down, time out. <laughs> uh, don't ask about it, and then because uh, I'm I, I don't want to jinx it anymore because it feels like it's getting closer and closer and closer, and that to a point where it's already there. I, I don't want right. it to just slip out of my hands. You know what I mean? But don't we don't we do like a secret? Uh, lost episode where we get to talk about it just to prep ourselves about what we're going to talk about when we talk to him. Like plan out the conversation? No, not plan out, but just like lay our cards out on the table. This is what I like. This is what I'm going to ask about. I'm also curious about what you wanna. Do we need to? <laughs> do we need to record that? <laughs> I mean, that's literally what show prep is, right? Not exactly, but whatever. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. We can record it tomorrow. We can we can talk about it tomorrow, and let's let's talk about what we want to ask him and whatnot. Yeah, we could, but we also don't have to really come to think of it. Why not? It doesn't. I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, atras abante about it. I'm. Having second thought, second, second thought, but, but you know what I mean. What I'm getting at is like, um, like, the, like the audience that might not have heard of him, might not have an appreciation for what get, what we're getting ourselves into. So sort of like have like an episode dedicated to. Just talking about that that genre. Yeah. Let's well again. Let's and then let's talk about it tomorrow. Okay. We, we can definitely. So, I, so okay. Uh, I just wasn't prepared for a relationship dedicated episode. Well, it, it's. Hey, there's a question. Speaking of which, there's a question that I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah. Uh, about your previous ex girlfriends. I'm. This okay. is like the the couple of the, the years that I didn't get to know you after high school was the we're going to run out of time. Let's cut this after I mention the question, but it's like um, the ones that didn't work out. I'm curious about why they didn't work out for you. What you, what made you realize that it wasn't going to work out. And of course there goes the question was, did you break it up or did she break it up? And, Basically, what you learned from your previous relationships, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, sure. We can, we can definitely talk Guys, about it. Um, Got it. Yeah, no, I'm more curious about, I mean, it's, you know, it's bed of roses talking about your current relationship now. It's That's nice and fun. But I'm curious about the mess behind that. <laughs> what do you mean the mess behind it? I mean, there, it wasn't, well, I think only one relationship had like a, a big mess behind it, you know? Um, oh, yeah. The the carnage that you left behind. Correct. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I I dated around a lot, you know. I mean, there I didn't really have any serious relationship. You got an um, echo going on for some reason. Is that better? Yeah. I think it's uh, my mic placement. Mm. So, I mean, after high school, even in college, I dated this. Um, half Filipino, half Australian girl. Um, mm. But besides that, uh, I dated around a lot. Uh, I didn't really get into like an actual full blown well, relationship. What usually ends it though? For the most part, while dating, um, just lost interest. Plus, it didn't really last long. When when I was dating around. It only lasted maybe like two months, you know, and then I don't know. I, I, there's something that, like for example, before I met my wife, I was dating this girl. Um, after like two, three months, I broke up with her because, I mean, don't get me wrong, she was a nice girl, but it wasn't all there for me, you know. 
I felt like there was a uh, lacking in the something lacking mm. in the relationship, basically. You know, I always mm-hmm. found some stupid excuse, but I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. But that's what got that's what got me worried about myself. It's like if I'm finding something lacking in this one. Who who am I to think that there's not I'm not going to find something lacking on the next one? So I'm kind of I was kind of sabotaging myself. It's like I was waiting for myself to find something lacking. Right. But am I surprised? I'm I'm not really surprised though that you said that. No offense. I'm not I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. I think it's in your personality trait where you considering the fact that you're an overthinker and that you overanalyze things. It, it's kind of going to reflect on how it is that you view women or people for that matter. Does that make sense? It makes sense, but it, so- it doesn't sound good. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not a bad... <laughs> that's what's so bad about it. Like, it makes th- the fact that it makes sense. Right. But the problem there is most people are like that. When what ends up happening is, like you said yourself, you tend to self sabotage. I'm sorry. That's the reality of things. The and difference you don't, is, don't me? you? No, because I realized the the issue ahead of time, and it's either they beat me to it and see the same thing on me and break up with me, or I break up with them. I think my in in that particular case though, where who gets broken up to or whatnot, I'm about a fifty fifty record where. Fifty percent of the women dump me, and then the other fifty percent I dump them. It's it's about it's about even in my case. Um, yeah. Well, actually, come to think of it, it's up. I think it's about even for my case also. Mm. But the one, of course, the one that sticks out in my head is the one where I don't, I, I don't. Actually, well, actually, I take that back. I do feel affected about the ones that dumped me. But I was about to say that the one that stuck out the most for me in my head, at least thinking about it now, was the ones that I broke up. Because I, I guess I kind of still feel bad about it. No, you don't feel bad about it. You're still questioning it. Maybe. It's, it's not necessarily feeling bad. It's more like, did I make the bad decision? You know what I mean? That's subconsciously, I believe that's what that is. No, it's not really about making a bad decision and sort of regretting it. It was more like ma- ha- not having made the decision sooner. Oh, I made that big mistake. And I learned it the hard way. I mean, I ended up being with that girl for 11 years. Oh, Granted, mine wasn't that bad, but still. I was with that girl for 11 years. I actually was engaged to her. And this is not something that you're going to ask me to delete, cut out, and no, throw out it's fine. of no. the recording no, 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 once no, no, it's we fine. finish talking about it? Well, I, I know I made mistakes in that relationship. You know, that's where, remember I told you about the, uh, the infidelity, whatnot, where I cheated on her? Because there's a part of us, right, that wants to, like, stick it out. Is that right? I th- no. In my case, I actually loved her. I really did love her, you know? But you had a question of infidelity? No. I I, I cheated still because that was one of the biggest things that was lacking in our relationship. Sex. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't... N- not to be a jerk about it, but is that an excuse? Or is no. that a reason? Is that reason enough? I mean, no. not to say that it was okay, but no, 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 no. It... Not, none of it was an excuse. None of it was reason enough. I know I fucked up. You know what I mean? Mm. So I, I, and I'm making that's what sure I, mean. I never do that's what that I again. Mean. That's what I mean. I'm not condemning. I'm not condemning, or I'm not saying that it was okay. Right. But just to understand the situation, is that reason enough? Is that a reason for you? To have been no of di- course this lawyer no it's a matter of uh, i screwed up plain and simple you know i used the fact that i wasn't uh feeling the uh 
I, I wasn't feeling the, I guess, the same passion or love or the physical whatever for my partner at that time. But I don't right, know why. But that's what's, that's I, what's going not on justifying in, it, you know? That's what's going on in my head. Like, it sounds like a... And again, I'm not excusing it. I'm just trying to understand how you're saying that you I'm saying her. I used that as an excuse, I guess. And I, I'm going to use an excuse, it. but... You know, it, it doesn't make it right. I was wrong 1,000%. Yeah. yeah, that's also what I'm saying. Yeah. Not disagreeing with you. Yeah. Just trying to understand it because I did the same thing. E right. Equal, right. Equally guilty. Right. But. Uh, that. Maybe... Sorry. Sorry to cut you off. But that relationship that I was in, that should have ended five. Well, we actually did break up. After five years. But you uh, loved her. No, first five years we were together, right? And then mm -hmm. we broke up. We actually broke up for like eight months. And then I was seeing other girls and all that stuff. And then we got back together. And then the next six years, you know, but we should never have gotten back together, basically. Now that I'm older and realize things and... Looking back to that, uh, yeah, we definitely should never have gotten back together, you know. You know what all this is reminding me of is remember how I was justifying all this stuff that I'm buying off the black market from China because it's cheaper, blah, blah, blah. You have your headphones that are working longer than the yeah. more expensive ones, that kind of thing. <laughs> That's the kind of crap that we sort of justify against our, for, for ourselves, I guess, is what we're... I'm, it, it no. reminds me of it's like trying to this... find positive reinforcement. You're trying, trying to find no, even you and I, with the things that we've done, ex ex for example, buying stuff from China, we're trying to find positive reinforcement to allow us to keep doing or to do what it is that we did. Does that make sense? Justifying all the crap that we bought, yes. And we're trying to justify it by finding positive reinforcements. Sorry, the light just died. I'll try to plug it in. Yeah, sure. Good, good, good excuse. Good excuse. Um, but yeah, the bottom line is it shouldn't have happened. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Don't do it anymore. With, 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 with that ex of mine, uh, I actually proposed to her three times. She... Oh. Uh, she turned me down the first two times and then she said finally said yes on the third time but I think I should have left after the first one you know what I mean I, sh I definitely should have left yeah. after the first one after she yeah. said no the first time around I should have been like I'm out you'd probably think in the middle of all that mess it's like you know it's exciting it's you know it's it's an adventure it's you know what it's what i should be doing as a man no I, I believe i belittled myself i literally tried to find excuses why she turned me down like maybe i'm not good enough maybe my job is not or my career at the moment is not stable enough for her you know what i mean those were the but, type but, of things that i thought about would you say in comparison to your current relationship or your marriage your marriage would be much simpler and less drama it's just straightforward what do you mean like compared to you know, all the other carnage and all the other mess that you left behind my life now with my wife yeah. oh yeah it's a hundred times better the key to that honestly communication being talking to her like she deserves everything meaning you, you didn't deserves have that the truth and whatnot you didn't have that transparency the, on the previous ones no no because on the previous one like everybody if somebody tells you that they've never done this they're lying okay i'm going to tell you right now we always end up holding back on what we really wanted to say always to your let me say let me say this though i totally agree with you but it took me a long time to realize that I was saying all the shit about myself. 
I was like, bleh, you know, barfing it all out. And I realized not necessarily about one particular person here, but just in general, right? That I I wasn't really listening if the other person was barfing back the same amount that I would barf, right? You, you know what I mean? So I end up like just bleh, and the other person's just sort of like, okay, here's a little breadcrumb for you, right? Here's right, a right, little right. Breadcrumb for you. So why is it? Do you think that you do that though? Too much. I mean, you 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 honestly don't give yourself enough credit. Is it maybe because you feel like you're not doing enough with your life? Is it maybe because you're you're a you might think that you're a letdown? Mm. Like, do I want here, to answer that? Here's here's I don't know if you remember the messages that I sent you um, a couple of days ago. I I saw your video about your quick visit to KF. My son, yeah, yeah, dude. Honestly, I don't know if you read those those messages I sent about that episode. Um, I I sent it to you by uh instant message on Facebook. You don't give yourself enough credit with all I honesty. I read that, but it just, it just exactly. Maybe, you know, that's the problem there. You let it go by too much. And then you think about and let linger the things that you don't need to really linger about. You know how what did I mean? I, how did I dig myself into this hole? Well, shit, I'm just saying, you know, I mean. No, no, and why I chose the topic, I brought it up, and then now you're lecturing me, which is fine. First of all, I'm... I'm not lecturing you. It's my <laughs> job as a friend to point it out, right? But that's It's up the to thing. you on how you want to take it. Now, if that's you're taking thing. it as a lecture, that's not my problem. No, 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 not not negative lecture. But what I mean is why, and, and lectures are good. You know, I like sitting in lectures. <laughs> But, but take take notes. Why am I feeling not uncomfortable? But you, why am not... I trying to squirm out of this hole? I'm like, eh. well, that's the problem. You don't need to squirm out of it. You just need to literally take it into strides. You know. You all gotta... right. All right. Uh, I'm just saying, I mean, honestly, every time we talk about something like this, I end up lecturing you. You look like my son, dude. <laughs> you're you're acting like my son. You're just like, yeah. I feel okay. like your son. Um, Yeah, I got it already. <laughs> I got it. All right. Move on. Damn it. That's exactly how you are. <laughs> Does he say that? No, he doesn't say that, but he'll like. Try to literally rush things just yeah. to get out of it, which is it what already, you yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Move on. Exactly. <laughs> but I, I guess, like as guys, or maybe like your son also, we like to feel like we figured it out ourselves. That's the biggest problem with guys. I'm, I'm guys. I'm gonna tell you guys straight up right now. You guys are all a bunch of bitches. Why? Because you all think. Or you guys would all like to think that yeah, you know everything, that you can figure things out, whatever. But you know what makes you a bigger guy or a bigger man? By admitting that you don't know it and asking for help. Boom. Lectured. Yeah. That's exactly what my therapist said yesterday. I'm telling you, get your money back. <laughs> How much did you pay him yesterday? <laughs> Do you feel how much is it in dollars? It's like, I think 50, 50 I'll, bucks I'll do, an hour. Hold on, I'll do the math. I'll, but, but yeah, just to how did, yeah, like, do you feel like I think she answered me a question like, do you feel embarrassed or some word that she used about asking for help? And then hey, I was like, can, mm, can I literally, if you listen to episode two, maybe? I think I asked you the exact same thing. <laughs> you want you want to pay me 
<laughs> that 50 bucks i'm just kidding but how much is the dollar exchange right now is it 53 i don't know i think it's like 54 54 let's just say 54 eight i think it's 18 18 20 bucks an hour for her <laughs> damn I'm telling you get your money back is this is this a virtual visit or what yeah yeah oh what a yeah. waste of money <laughs> that's like a whole year's subscription to pornhub you would know <laughs> i did at one point i did <laughs> anyway i'm uh, just saying yeah. i mean i'm not trying wanted, to be a jerk i wanted to hear somebody else's opinion a professional opinion yeah although you guys are saying the same thing <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious man that's so funny i mean there's i'm i don't know what it is though i mean why you gotta give yourself credit seriously it's uncomfortable though what why get over yourself this is because this is where you are it's Okay, you know what? but you're listen, thinking you're up here. Listen, no, 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 that's not what I'm thinking. You know how it goes on in my head. It's like when you when you say, "Oh, you got to give yourself some credit." It kind right. of feels like, "Oh, go to a massage parlor, have yourself massage." No, I can massage myself. <laughs> I can give myself credit. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I must. I feel like I'm massaging myself. Or, oh, I know what I'll it give is. Myself a back rub. No, I figured it out you are always looking for validation yes explain like, like you do something or there might be something that might have been said or whatever like good job noel good job let me give you a pat on the back no no validation in a form of questioning Sometimes you, you don't take things into stride. You don't take it the way it is for face value. One dollar is one dollar, right? But to you, one dollar is, hmm, are you sure it's that one dollar or is that 50 cents? Maybe it's a dollar 50, right? You're always, you're, you're overanalyzing things to a point where all sometimes right, right. it is just the way it is. Listen, I'll let it. I'll let that sink in. <laughs> sink, sink in. I, I'm not going to dismiss it. I'll let that sink in. But let me ask you, where does that? Where Where did you learn that? Where, where I learned that? it? Like in other words, why didn't you go down the path that I went? Why are I you did. in in where you're? How did I, you get out of it? I, I did go through the path that you went through. You know how I got out of it. By realizing that not everything revolves around me. How did you realize it? Just You just tell yourself that. You snap out of it. Because the reality is it doesn't. You, how do you have... snap out. Of, how do you snap out of it? What do you mean how do you snap out of it? You just snap out of it. You get over it. To a point where you literally change your entire perception of things. The way you think. The way you deal with things, you have to. Otherwise, you're going to keep thinking that way and questioning things that doesn't need to be questioned. I'm going to wipe my nose. Yeah, do it. And I don't care. Do it. Do you have, do you have a cold? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just been running lately. Uh... It's just been... I've just had to to drip it uh, to drip it. It's been dripping, and I just had to like. You don't you know. have to say dripping. Just say running. It's been running. Yeah, and I didn't want to make that snorting sound on the microphone. So. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'll try to let that sink in, not be over. Over, yeah. over, over. But you, you o know what? The, so, and... I've been watching these uh, super secret. V vlogs and whatnot you know you talking uh, about my videos yeah the super secret vlogs okay so i saw it right i gotta mm. admit i'm but intrigued you understand why you understand why they're super secret though right yes yeah i do <laughs> i do we don't need to divulge in that i'm just saying okay. so i've been watching 
and it's kind of to be honest with you it's a little bit uh it's a little therapeutic what makes you say that what do you mean it's it's watching somebody literally go through their their routine and not necessarily a routine but their day to day but in comparison to my day to day i'm i'm jealous i'm straight uh, jealous i'm going to record this part and put you <laughs> in the vlog for today's vlog oh, oh my god i'm just i'm just saying that so watching it podcast with jason that i'm recording right now so yeah so watching it, I, I am jealous watching you on your day to day, and it in in comparison to mine, you know. Jealous because I'm not doing anything. Jealous because I'm not as busy as you are. No, because... not not necessarily. It doesn't matter if you're doing anything or not. It's just the fact that even though you're not doing much, I have to admit, not much. It's it's still doing a lot. You're a fan. Like and subscribe. I hey, I'm a fan. Admit it. I, I haven't it. subscribed yet. I admit it. You'd subscribe <laughs> if you could. I probably would. Yeah. Um. I don't know why I haven't. I don't know why. Because um, you know you can't because I'm showing it to just my friend, friends. Oh. So there's nothing to subscribe to if you're on my friend on Facebook. <laughs> you can only like it. You, there's no subscription button. Got it, got it. Which I have liked it, by the way. Um, but what I'm saying is, it it it's yeah. I'm a little jealous, to be honest with you. I'd like my life to be a little bit more um chilled, not chilled, laid back. No, laxadaisa, not not too much stress. At least that's what I see, you know. I mean, I could definitely be wrong. But I'm saying no. that's what I see. Am I wrong? I mean, there's no right or wrong answers. Laxy Daisy sounds like it. See, that's that's where it segues towards, uh, you know, Commander Daot and all these other guys that we kind of follow. It's like kind of. Uh, Are you like actually subscribed to them now? No, I don't know if I'm subscribed. Does it? Excuse me. Does it even matter if you're subscribed or not subscribed? Anyway, I've just been watching. Yeah. So, if I'm not, I I probably should, but I. I, I what, what my train lost almost lost my train of thought there that the like the, aren't they ever worried, and this I think I tried to discuss this with you also before like aren't they ever worried that they would, rev, like they would put out videos that would reveal so much about them as you're pointing out about my video right now that it would you know that, that like 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 um they put out a video they don't mean to show that they look like they're laxadaisy and not doing anything but somebody somebody has that impression that they are laxadaisy and not doing anything with their lives kind well, of thing I'm, I'm sure that worries them but everybody's different you know what they see what we see in the camera is what we see or what we know about so do we know if that's their actual everyday lifestyle or whatnot who knows what i mean you can only like maybe that's how it's different for me in uh like making a vlog or making my own video like there's a sense of control there's a sense of you know you're you're controlling the perception Sort of. What do you mean? Like, like what I said a while ago. It's 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 your decision to turn on or off the camera and to to allow, to 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 put this cut in there and not to put the cut there, not to put this phrase there. Like sometimes I would say ten lines, but I would only put like one line to show on the final edit. Yeah. So the so the rest of the stuff that I mentioned on the camera is not even there. So I have that control, quote unquote, control of what I would say. Don't I, you have don't you have that worry on this podcast? And of course. same question same question goes for those other guys. That, yeah, that's a good question. Do they how often do they actually censor themselves? You know what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. That's a good question. I'd like to ask them that. 
And the other thing would be like about their kids. Like, are they open to showing their kids on the vlog and, you know, for safety reasons and where yeah. they live and yeah. that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. It's That's this a good whole vulnerability question. thing that I'm kind of curious about. Yeah. And to circle it back to what you tried to bring up and, you know, you uh, see my life as lackadaisy or just sort of drifting around. And no, don't, 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 don't. That, sound, that sounds bad. I mean, I don't mean it like that. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it's not like it's lacks a daisy. Your life is not like that. It's just that that the the not the feeling, the the flow of your, I guess, the way you run your life. It's not necessarily lacks a daisy, but it feels like it's just a little bit more relaxed, you know, in comparison to mine, at least. Not as stressful. Yeah, definitely, and. Believe me, I would much rather have that. If yeah, I could see, run and organize that, my life that way, believe me, I'm so all in. Now what comes in is one man's garbage can be another man's treasure. <laughs> yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. I mean, that's what they say with, I think, Amazon or e I think eBay. I think it's, that's where I first heard that. You know, somebody, you're thinking about throwing it out. Put it on. Put it. Put it on eBay. Somebody might just actually buy it. So, uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> that's kind of the attitude that I take when it comes to this vlog. Uh, Why? Super, super secret vlog. Because there, you picked up on the fact that you know it might look laxy daisy and just sort of free flowing with life, and I hate that about you know hate that about myself. And then here you are saying that hey. I, I'm jealous. I, I wish I had that same situation. Right. So that's why I was saying, you know, one man's garbage can be another man's treasure. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, but you're, you're putting your... And you're putting your life into a much, much lower pedestal. Pedestal. Pedestal is what I mean. On the flip side, you said a while ago that I'm up here and going down a little bit, and so yeah, on. just calm calm yourself down a little bit, you know. Give yourself more credit, Jesus, man, come on, get a Thank grip. You. Can I get a hug? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was I really bad, by the way. I'll let that sink in. Yeah. Okay. Shall we start wrapping things up? Yeah. Um. Uh, Tomorrow, I do want to discuss. But let's 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 talk about uh, Commander D. Gulas and uh, Boy P. Have you mm. been watching Boy P as well or no? No, more on Daot lang talaga. Oh and really? Boy, boy, a little bit of not so much of Boy P. What, what about Gulas? Not also. Really? Not as much also. Um, well, yeah. So let's let's dive into it tomorrow. Let, let's th there that that question that you asked. Yeah. I definitely want to ask them about that. You know, I mean, it's something that that's a really good question. I actually want to ask a lot of people that, especially um, YouTubers and streamers or whatever. You know, because mm. how does one create the boundary? Anyhow. Yeah, or anyway. some just have the balls for it, you know? Some just have the audacity to, to just, like, screw it. Like, I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's the thing, though. I mean, I, I'd like to think that I have the balls for it. But in the back of my head, I'm really thinking, damn. It's kind of, <laughs> who's going to listen to this? Am I incriminating myself too much? Or, I don't know scared somebody's go you know like if in case you blow up somebody's going to comb through all the stuff that you did and going to look for that needle in a haystack that's going to pop your bubble right right and that's the scary thing i don't know anywho um do we, we just to come up with like a a proper is this an episode episode yeah 
we're gonna put this up. This is gonna be episode thirteen. I'll I'll edit this one. So this one, since this yeah. one was an addition to mm-hmm. an extra one for the uh, for the month, sure, I'll, sure. I'll edit it. Okay, how do I'll we? Post it. Let's make a quick. Uh, how do we extra this? I don't know. Um, okay, that's that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Peace out. <laughs> no, um, uh, I don't know. We need to come up with a better expo. We should. That's it for today's episode. My name is Noel. No, you 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 always. <laughs> there's this thing that you used to say all the time at the end of the episode. Now I gotta go back. It's like, take it something. It is. All right, guys. It is what it is. <laughs> Just like what the wall always says. On the um, flip side. My name is Jason. My name is Noel. All right, and this is the flip side. Later. Bye. Peace out. Two guys, two worlds. This is the flip side. New episodes uploaded on YouTube, Facebook, and Spotify every week on Wednesday and Saturday.